The bats and baseballs have gone silent in Bellevue. City officials are looking at telling operators of the World Baseball Village, you're out. Tornadoes in June were a major issue and that led to financial problems. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Severe weather damaged the facility, wiping out its biggest event. Reporter Nick Starling spent months tracking the difficulties. He's now live with the latest. Nick? Well, this seems to be the final blow between a rocky relationship into the city of Bellevue, who owns the property, and World Baseball Village, who manages the property. Both blame each other over who should owe the money to the dozens of teams caught in the middle, wondering if they'll ever pay up. Never did we ever expect we weren't going to get any of our money back. But for Tanya Hendrickson and her Minnetonka Phantoms, that's what happened. They're one of dozens of teams who sign up to play in a tournament at World Baseball Village, are not getting refunds after a June tornado damaged the fields at the beginning of their tournament. Everybody's so mad and everybody's so frustrated and you know, we've been made all these promises and nothing's come through and it's the runaround. Hendrickson says they're in the middle of the blame game and haven't heard from either party about getting their $15,000 back. Nobody wants to take responsibility for anything, yet they got their insurance money, both Sarpy County and World Baseball Village got their money from the insurance and now they're parting ways and they don't care about any of us. The Bellevue City Council will vote on Monday to cut the $250,000 a year contract with World Baseball Village it's had for nearly eight years. The reason? It's been subject to natural disasters and other obstacles to success. The city says they'll eat the cost through other uses for the property once it takes full control. But the city will have to pay the outstanding bonds associated with the facility of just over $2.5 million. We don't want to give baseball a bad name, but now these kids have seen what if, what's happened to us and what's happened to them and their efforts. And it's kind of it's just disheartening. Hendrickson says there are other baseball tournaments in the Metro that have reached out to them to join their tournaments, but says parents are wary. It's a hard push for the parents because once you've been had, they don't want to do that again. The Bellevue City Council will vote on the separation on Monday. If approved, the mayor is expected to sign it. The city would then have full control of the property. Reporting live in studio, Nick Starling, 3 News Now.